Hi everyone, so in this video I'm doing the the challenge where you use all your art supplies of the same color. It's kind of like you end up with sort of a monochrome drawing in the end, but I think the main challenge is how it's like the ultimate mixed media artwork. And the person that started this challenge was Drawing with Waffles, so if you want to see the original video I'll link it in the description. I've done this challenge before using all my yellow art supplies and that was very very difficult because um, I don't have a lot of yellow art supplies and most yellows are very light. There's not a lot of darker yellows and most of them are brown but it's kind of hard to tell if it's like a red brown or orangey brown or yellow brown so that was very challenging to do yellow for sure. So doing blue was a lot easier because blue there's just so many. I, I feel like whenever you buy like a set of art supplies there's a lot of different blues. I allowed myself myself to use kind of like blues all the way to sort of turquoise colors. That was kind of the range I stuck to. And it's called using all my blue art supplies, but I didn't use every single one um, because a lot of my pencil crayons are exactly the same color and it's just re kind of redundant to use them a lot. So I used like basically a lot of each of the different kinds of supplies I have. So like gouache, watercolor markers, and pencil crayon. Those are the art supplies that I that I use all the time. So those are my art supplies. Well, I actually don't really use pencil crayons that much because I just don't ever bother to take them out. I just prefer like wet media better, I guess. But I, I remember once I took out my pencil crayons for a little bit and I did a bunch of sketches maybe like a year ago or a couple months ago and I actually had a lot of fun using them so maybe I should do that again. <laughs> I decided since it was blue, I wanted to do something that would fit the color because I wanted this to be an actual like good finished illustration. At least I wanted to try to do that. And I'm using B watercolor paper and the art supplies I'm using, there's too many to count. So I can't really list them all off because there's a lot of them. So to go with the blue, I decided to draw some fish and I was actually wanting to draw some fish for a while. So I finally decided to do it with this drawing. I thought it would be the perfect one and I wanted to do blue colors just because I really like blue. It's a really good color. I think there's a reason why a lot of people like blue. It's just it's just a good color. I still don't really know what my favorite color is. It changes all the time. I don't, I don't know, like every color has some sort of tone that I like. I just don't really have a favorite color. To wear colors, I actually really like um, black, gray, and blue to wear. Those are my favorite colors. I think I just always, like, when I go into stores, I just gravitate towards those kinds of clothes. And I hardly have anything that's, like, colorful in my closet because I just keep buying blue, gray, and black things. Like, navy blue, light blue, gray, black. I have a lot of red things, too. Those are the colors that I tend to buy. But that doesn't mean those are my favorite colors. I just like to wear them the most, I guess. But blue is a good color, and I wanted to do it for this challenge.
this whole painting, I was debating whether or not I should just make it a normal speed paint and not make it the color challenge because I really wanted to just use, I wanted to just use watercolor because I just love watercolor so much and I didn't want to just make it blue. I wanted to add in pinks and oranges and just make it a much more interesting illustration. But I thought I would stick with the theme because I rarely do monochrome art anyway and I just wanted to stick to what my original plan was and not do it was just comfortable for me just because I wanted to change it. But I also didn't want to sacrifice the quality of the illustration just because of the challenge. So I did allow myself to use a little bit of white gouache mixed with the blue gouache so that I could have lighter and darker hues of the blue and so that I could cover up mistakes and just make uh, just make it something I was more happy with. I don't think that's cheating because I am using all my blue art supplies, but I just added a white in. That doesn't mean that I'm not allowed to use white. And there's not really any rules anyway, so it shouldn't matter that much. I actually use a lot of the, if you watched my Tuesday video, I went to Muji, which is a Japanese store, and they have a lot of stationery, so I grabbed some gel pens while I was there. And I'm so glad that I grabbed a navy blue and a light blue because I used those for the line art and they just worked really, really well. I kind of like the texture that they had on the rough watercolor paper. Because the lines weren't completely smooth, they had a little bit of a texture sketchy look to them, which I really like. So I'm definitely glad I got those because they're waterproof and alcohol proof, which is pretty nice. And by alcohol, I mean alcohol based markers. I've been thinking a lot uh, about making some prints of my art and I'm not sure, like I don't have anything that I would consider print worthy. I only have a couple of things I would consider printing, but I wanted to make some more and I don't know if this one is print worthy. I, I don't I don't think it's, I don't know if it's worth being a print or if I'm happy enough with it, but I was thinking of just maybe making some postcard size prints. Um, maybe to sell in my store, I'm not sure, but I have been wanting to do prints for a while and a lot of people have been asking me to make prints and my answer is always that I just don't have enough art to to print. Like I, I, wanna, I want to order them online because there's not really a lot of good places near me to get stuff printed. So I think doing them online would be good. I really hoped you enjoyed seeing me try this challenge. Um, it's a lot of fun, but it's also definitely one of the more stressful challenges of just like, taking out all your art supplies and then your desk is just super messy and covered with stuff because I've been accumulating art supplies for years, like five or six years. So I have a lot of a lot of different art supplies and I don't use half of them and I should probably get rid of some or like give them away or something. But definitely try this out if you want to. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the process of this little water ocean drawing. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.